Okay, guys, are here uh, <clears throat> forming up my base for my uh, <clears throat> storm cellar, so I got them working. Now, had had, <clears throat> had a few people ask me, uh, Mr. Bank. Mr. Bank asked me in a comment. He said, uh, "Bill, it looks like your shoulders are turning. It looks like you're turning." No, I'm not turning. Here's what a turn is. A turn is this. If if I the old way, I mean, let me see if I can do it. But anyway, a turn would be if I'm loading up my right side and my left shoulder goes behind the ball, that's a turn. You're completely out of balance that way. No, I do not turn. My shoulders do this. My left scapula controls my right hip. And yes, you got to move to get away from the ball. So your left left scapula moves this way and your right buttocks moves back. The same holds true with your right scapula and your and your left hip. When the right scapula comes down, the left hip goes back. <clears throat> there is no turn, okay? That's the only way that you can stay perfectly balanced and neutral, okay? Hope that answered that question. The other question was, uh, do you just let your arms drop and that's it? No, I put force on it. I was just trying to show you guys that if you just let, let your arms drop, like that, then you'll feel that sling with your left, with your left or, or your right right arm. Okay, and you can do it with your left also. You do the same thing. I mean, here's the position. Just let it. You'll you'll feel it turn over with your left also. All right. Now, I'm gonna keep doing these vids on fold unfold because I tried it ten years ago. But look at that big ass squirrel. I tried this 10 years ago and threw it in a trash can and I lost 10 years of probably the best golf of my life. And I do not want you guys to lose that, okay? So I'm just gonna keep boring the hell out of you until you finally figure out, figure this thing out because it's that important, all right? <clears throat> now, let's talk about, okay. I do a 10, 10 finger grip. Okay, you see where my thumb is? What I want you to do with your thumb my, mine is is like this, okay? I don't feel anything with this thumb. But what I want you guys to do, and a good way to play is just raise that thumb off the club. Okay, just raise it up. Now, what I want you to feel when you're folding and unfolding, when you fold that club up, notice where that, where your trail, where your right thumb is, okay? And then when you start unfolding, from the top, here's what happens to your thumb. It goes boom. Let me get back here far enough. It goes boom. And then it comes in here like this, okay? It goes like that. You can't, you can't stop it. You can't keep doing this. That sucker's gonna turn over and your thumb is gonna go that way. Your thumb is gonna be looking at looking at you this way coming down and when you get through it's going to be pointing behind you okay <clears throat> try to get that down or that should be a reference of what you're trying to do okay another thing that i've been looking into and i'm not even going to go into that right now but i've been looking at instead of having my my thumb on my left thumb on top of this club or to the side, I'm gonna move that sucker down in here where it's all 10 finger. Okay, it looks something. I can't get it. it. Looks like this instead of this. I think that if I do that, I probably can play left sided if I wanted to. And it will probably even let, allow me to get a little more speed when I learn how to control it, okay? Because that's all it is. Guys, you gotta get this fold, 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 unfold, down. Once you do, you'll play the best golf you've ever played in your life, okay?
level hips. God. I'm going to think of some more stuff to try to help you guys. Y'all keep, keep making comments, and I'll try to keep answering them. Talk to y'all later. Bye.